What's going on? How you doing? My name is Dave the Crook and today I'm going to show you how to mix young odds type vocals. But before getting into the video, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button. So I have a song here. It is by Little JJ. The song is called Port Up. The song is already out. So I'll put the link to the song in the description so you could check it out. Now, when it comes to young odds type vocals, one of the key things we're going to be looking for is auto tune reverb and delay so pretty much those effects now with his vocals what i really like about him is that they're smooth in the low end so his vocals are pretty smooth but there's just a nice bump in the high end but not too much like most artists it's just nice and simple but it is there so i'm gonna play the hook and part of the verse so you get the feel of the song and then we'll just go from there by the way JJ isn't from the UK, so he doesn't have a UK accent, but for the most part, we're going to take the same precautions as if we were mixing Young Odds vocals. All my niggas pull up, we be sipping strong, lean up in my double cup, got a nigga gun. I don't really give a fuck, I'm going to hit the bong, cause I be cheaping hella tough, cheesing strong. All my niggas pull up, we be sipping strong, lean up in my double cup, got a nigga gun. I don't really give a fuck, I'm going to hit the bong. Cause I be cheapin' hella tough Cheech and Chong yes. All these bitches be like JJ you the fucking goat So I look at him and I tell him I already know I'm tryna be up in this ice like I'm in the snow And if a nigga do it right I'll be getting dough And don't you even try to act up Nigga you ain't that tough You just getting mad cause you know I'm spitting facts bruh Don't know so that's pretty much it. That's the hook and the verse. So one of the first things I'm going to be working on is smoothing out his vocals. Like I said, Young Oz has those nice smooth vocals. So I'm going to use a plugin. It's by WA Production. The plugin is called Outlaw. It's kind of like the same thing as Waze Vocal Writers. Or you could physically go in into your DAW and automate the volume up and down. And the reason I want to do this is so to smooth out the vocals. That way the compression won't have to work too much. It's not going to make that much of a difference but you will see when i play it that this thing is going to go up and down and it's pretty much going to grab the tail end of his word that he said and just bring it up just enough so it kind of keeps everything consistent all my niggas pull up we be sipping strong lean up in my double cup got a nigga gun i don't see i mean it just brings it up nothing too much nothing too crazy now i'm gonna add a compressor just to even out everything again and the first compressor i'm going to be using is rvox by waves now i'm gonna be using the majority of the plugins are going to be from waves just because i love the products by waves i'm not sponsored by them or anything but they're very affordable and they get the job done so i'm gonna probably do about two three db compression nothing too much i don't really give a fuck i'm gonna hit the bong because i be cheaping hella tough cheese and chong all my niggas pull up, we be sipping strong Lean up in my double cup, got a nigga gun I don't really give a fuck, I'm gonna hit the bomb so As you can see, it's compressing it just a little bit, not too much Plus, it brings out some of those nice highs And that's what we're going for, not too much But just a subtle amount of his highs coming in Just cause that's how Young Odd's vocals are Now, I'm gonna add a EQ compressor It's gonna be a, another plugin by Waves It's the SSL channel strip Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to cut off some of those lows just because I kind of want to smooth out his lower end, take out some of that mud from his voice. So I'll probably cut to like 135, 140. I'm going to boost some of his highs and compress it just a little bit more. I don't really give a fuck. I'm going to hit the bunk because I be cheaping hella tough. Cheech and Chong, yes. All these bitches be like, JJ, you the fucking goat. So I look at him and I tell him I already know. I'm trying to be up in this ice like I'm in the snow And if a nigga do it right, I'll be getting dough And don't you even try to act up, nigga, you ain't that tough You just getting mad cause you know I'm spitting facts, bruh Don't know where I'm at cause I've been moving faster Only thing that's stopping me is nothing, I won't crack ya yeah. I don't really need you, you got money, me too Came from the bottom, now I'm up just like some seafood Rapping is my key to getting rich in each move Now, I added some compression I boosted 16k, I brought back some of his 400 around the lower mids just to get some of that boxiness out of his vocals. Now the next thing I'm going to add is another EQ but I'm going to add a tube EQ and the reason I'm going to add a tube EQ is just to get the color out of that pull tech emulation plus the high boost curve that the high boost uses is nice on the tube EQ. I like using this on drums and other stuff like that, but for vocals, it also sounds nice. I'm gonna boost around 12K. The only thing I'm not gonna push it too much because if you push it at 12K, a lot of times the S's come out a little bit more harsher than you want. So 
so it takes a little bit more DSing later on. So I'm probably do about a two, three D boost, nothing too much. I don't really give a fuck. I'm gonna hit the bunk, cause I be cheapin' hella tough. Cheech and Chong, yes. all these bitches be like JJ, you the fucking goat. So I look at him and I tell him I already know. I'm tryna be up in this ice like I'm in the snow. And if a nigga do it right, I'll be getting dough. And don't you even try to act up, nigga, you ain't that tough. You just getting mad, cause you know I'm spitting facts, bruh. Don't know where I'm at, cause I've been moving faster. Only thing that's stopping me is nothing, I won't crack ya. Yeah. I don't really need you, you got money, me too. Came from the bottom. And then I did a dip about around 200, 300 hertz, just to take out a little bit more of that boxiness out of his voice. Now, the next thing I'm gonna add after this 2BQ is another compressor. It's gonna be pretty much the last compressor. It's the CLA 2A. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a full reset just because it brings the gain down. And if you really keep it at 40, it's a little bit too much gain for me. So I like doing a full reset and then just bringing it up however, I, however much I want. So I'm gonna put the analog at 60. I'm gonna move this little thing probably about 70, 60. And then I'm just gonna do a probably about a one or two dB gain reduction and I'm gonna bring up the gain just a little bit. I don't really give a fuck, I'm gonna hit the bunk, cause I be cheating hella tough. Cheating. All these bitches be like JJ, you the fucking goat. So I look at him and I tell him I already know. I'm trying to be up in this ice like I'm in the snow. And if a nigga do it right, I'll be getting dough. And don't you even try to act up, nigga, you ain't that tough. You just so what I like about this compressor, it smooths out the vocals and it brings out a little bit more of that high end. Just because I didn't really boost it that much. I just boost around 16K and 12K and then the Rvox and the CLA is going to bring out a little bit more of those highs. Now, the next thing I'm going to add is auto-tune and it's just regular pitch correction stock. The song is in the key of E major, so I'm just going to go here. And Young Odds, he adds full auto-tune, so I'm just going to put the response at zero to give it that T-Pain effect or Young Odds effects, whatever you want to call it. Now, it's going to sound good. Sometimes a little bit adding too much auto-tune does kind of ruin it, but we'll see how it sounds with this song. I don't really give a fuck, I'm gonna hit the bunk Cause I be cheapin' hella tough, cheatin' chong yes. All these bitches be like, JJ, you the fucking goat So I look at him and I tell him I already know I'm tryna be up in this ice like I'm in a So it's sounding good, the response is at zero So far it's sounding good Now I'm gonna add a de -esser, And this pretty much is gonna be the last plugin I use on the vocal chain And then from there we're just gonna bust everything out Now, the... DSR I'm going to be using is by Waves and Siblings. If you've seen my other videos, you know I use Siblings just because it's so easy to use. It's effective. It gets the job done. I put the split around 50, 60, do the same thing with the direction. And then I just move the threshold up and down, put the range lower. Like I put the range at 25. Up, we be sipping strong, lean up in my double cup, got a nigga gone. I don't really give a fuck, I'm gonna hit the bunk, cause I be cheating hella tough, cheating chong. Yes. All these bitches be like JJ, you the fucking goat. So I look at him and I tell him I already know. I'm tryna be up in this ice like I'm in the snow. And if a nigga do it right, I'll be getting dough. And don't you even try to act up, nigga, you ain't that tough. You just getting mad, cause you know I'm spitting facts, bruh. Don't know where I'm at, cause I've been. Now, the last plugin I'm gonna use on the vocal chain effect is a plugin by Waves, and it is the S1 Imager. And the reason I'm gonna use this is just to spread out the vocals. I'm gonna put out about 15, 16. No, I'm put out 15. Now, another thing you could use is if you're using Logic, you could just go to Imaging Studio Spreader and then bring this at zero. Put that at zero. I'll say probably put this around above 500 and then bring this down. You don't want anything more than 20, so just keep it like that. And that's going to do the same thing as S1 Imager, but I'm just going to use S1 Imager. That's going to widen up the vocals a little bit more and just keep everything open and wide. Now, Next thing I'm going to add is a vocal doubler and what this is going to do, it's going to dub up his vocals and I'm just going to blend it in slowly, not too much. So I'm going to cut out some of those lows just because I don't want that to come in. I just want more of his upper mids and high frequencies to be blended in. Up, we be sipping strong, lean up in my double cup, got a nigga gone, I don't really give a fuck. Now, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it does make his vocals sound a lot fuller. I'm going to add... 
this preamp if you see my other videos I love this preamp I use it pretty much on everything if I could use it I'm gonna use it just because this preamp is called little radiator by sound to sound toys it's worth it and it's gonna add a saturation to the vocal so it's gonna make it a lot fuller a lot louder and I'm gonna subtly bring it in it's not gonna be too noticeable but it's gonna bring up the overall volume of his vocals we be sipping strong, lean up in my double cup, got a nigga gone. I don't really give a fuck, I'm gonna hit the bong, cause I be cheating hella tough. Cheap. Now, here's what it gets to the young Oz vocals. His reverbs is something big, wide, open, spacious, and that's what we're going for. So the first reverb I'm gonna use is from Space Designer. It's the large hall 3.5, so just go large spaces, halls 3.5. And I'm gonna bust it and I'm just gonna bring it in slowly. Up, we be sipping strong, lean up in my double cup, got a nigga gone. I don't really give a fuck, I'm gonna hit the bong, cause I be cheating hella tough, cheating chong. And then I also brought in the EQ to cut out some of those lows and some of those highs, but I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit. Now, the last reverb I'm gonna use is from Sound Toys, it's Little Plate. I have it around 5 seconds, 4.5 around there, just cause I want those longer decays just to carry the vocals, keep going whenever he has a pause in his voice. Plus, this reverb sounds dope. It sounds good on everything. Up, we be sipping strong. Lean up in my double cup. Got a nigga gone. I don't really give a fuck. I'm gonna hit the bong. Cause I be cheating hella tough. Cheating chong, yeah. All these Finally, the last thing I'm gonna add is some delay. And Young Odds does use a lot of delay in his vocals. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna sidechain the delay also just so his last words could be what comes out in his vocals and because if you just delay everything without side chaining it it just kind of muddies up everything and just doesn't sound good you want to make sure you side chain everything well pretty much side chain the delay to the vocals uh we be sipping strong lean up in my double cup got a nigga gone i don't really give a fuck i'm gonna hit the bong because i be cheating hella tough cheating chong yeah. all these bitches be like jj you the fucking goat so i look at him and i tell him i already know i'm trying to and that's Pretty much it's gonna be in the background i can add a little bit more but i don't want to push it too much and that's pretty much it when it comes to mixing young odds type vocals you just want some nice smooth vocals a little bit of the high end not too much like other artists and then you want to have full auto tune some reverb that's nice open wide spacious something just beautiful sounding and some delay you can add more it's up to you it's preference depending on what you like now if you want your song mixed and mastered by me feel free to hit me up on my instagram or on my email which is down below in the description now i'm also going to put the full song in the description too the song is already out it's called pour up by little jj so check it out when you have a chance i hope to see you in the next video i want to remind you to hit the subscribe button also hit the like button and leave a comment telling me what other artists vocal type you would like to see me mix next or any tricks or anything you want to learn about mixing and mastering whether it be vocal or beats also like instrumentals if you want to learn anything let me know in the comment section down below and i'll respond to you as soon as i can and i hope to see you in the next video peace